Hey cruisers, in this video you'll see the 2022 NCL embark and disembark processes at the Port of Seattle's Pier 66. Here we go. Please complete your COVID-19 antigen or PCR tests, the arrive can travel information, and watch the NCL safety video before showing up at the terminal. Carrying all your travel documents in a pouch or binder of some sort will be helpful. Attach the NCL luggage tags to your check bag before heading to the pier. Grab your ride to the pier. My wife and I chose an Uber XL ride. When you arrive at Pier 66, drop off your check bags at the baggage drop off area in front of the terminal. We dropped our bags off at the far right or north end of the terminal with these two kind gentlemen. Next, walk over to the far left or south end of the terminal to the check in area. You'll first come to what we call the pre pre check in and will need to show your boarding passes and passports. Electronic copies of our boarding passes on our phones were accepted. Next will be the security checkpoint where you'll pass through the x ray machines. All bags pass through the x ray machines. Remove all metal and electronics from your body. Jackets and shoes will not need to be removed. You will then move on to the pre check in area. You will be asked to present your boarding passes. Passports, photo IDs, arrive can receipt, vaccination cards, and negative COVID-19 antigen or PCR test results. Electronic copies of our boarding passes, arrive can receipt, and antigen test results were accepted. Just past the pre-check-in point was a waiting area with restrooms. Next, you will move on to the check-in area where the friendly staff will guide you to the correct line. At the check-in desk, present your boarding passes, your passports, and answer a quick health questionnaire. Electronic copies of our boarding passes were accepted. You will be issued your freestyle stateroom card, and the check-in process will be complete. Have your photo taken in the photo area or pass right through onto the gangway. We suggest that you head straight to the assembly or muster station noted on your stateroom card and have the staff scan your card to signify that you know where to report in case of an emergency. We also suggest that you report to the social, comedy, and nightclub to sign up for any last minute onboard entertainment or activities. Once those are done, feel free to explore the ship or check out your stateroom. If you're hungry, Grab a bite. We suggest that you avoid a crowded buffet and visit one of the complimentary main dining rooms. The Saver dining room was open on our trip and a perfect spot to grab a bite and relax in comfort. Now onto the disembark process. You'll have two options to choose from. Option one is a self-assist disembarkation where you carry your own luggage off the ship between 7.15 and 8 a.m. Self-assist includes the free port valet service that we opted for. The port valet service transports your luggage directly to the airport and to your chosen airline. Click the link at the end of this video for more information. Option 2 is the feel-free disembarkation where you claim your luggage from the luggage hall on the way out of the terminal. You will choose a departure time from 8 to 9.30 a.m. based on your travel arrangements and can pick up your corresponding color tags to place on your luggage. The color tags can be picked up near the guest services desk on deck 6 midship. Your luggage will need to be placed outside your stateroom by 11 p.m. the night before disembarkation so that they can be transported down to the terminal hall first thing in the morning. Keep an overnight bag with essentials for the morning. Items like medication, passports, travel documents, airline tickets, etc. On the morning of disembarkation, you may grab a quick bite at the Garden Cafe, Saver, observation lounge or Starbucks. Relax and listen for the announcements with the location of the disembarkation deck as well as your color code to be called. Once your color code is called, report to the disembarkation deck, check out by scanning your stateroom card and head down the gangway to the terminal where you will be directed to the luggage hall to pick up your luggage. My wife and I bypassed the bag pool area because our check bags were already on their way to the airport via the port valet service. You will be directed to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection area. Have your passport and photo ID handy. 
You will then be guided out of the terminal to the waiting tour buses, airport buses, or rideshare pickup areas. Here's a look at passengers lined up for the airport buses and waiting in front of the terminal for taxi cabs, Uber, Lyft, and other rideshare services. For more information on our Port Valet service, check out this video.